Hey everyone, Classics Team here, and welcome to the end of the episode, or rather the beginning of it. And the reason I say that is because this is the last thing I'm recording for this episode. Uh, I was editing the rest of the episode when I realized I didn't have any intro recorded whatsoever, and the reason for that is because I'm recording this episode over the course of one week, other than one to two days, like most people tend to do, and the reason for that is because I tend to value quality over quantity better, and right now my schedule has grown pretty, pretty crazy, and it has kind of prevented me from shooting out quality videos uh, the way I would like to, so I figured it would be better to compromise the quantity and shoot out a video of the lamppost every Saturday or Sunday, depending on how things go, and uh, just do it from there. Uh, and as time goes on, I hope I should be able to shoot out um, higher quality videos in a shorter amount of time, say every other day, which is what I would like to do, but I'm not making any guarantees at this point. Um, but that's just the way it's going to have to be for right now. <laughs> if I record an adventure map or possibly a mini game, uh, those will be coming on out around on the weekdays, hopefully, uh, but if not, just one episode of The Lamppost every Saturday or Sunday, depending on how things go. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Lamppost, episode 6. Uh, if you guys do, please remember to leave a like, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Alright guys, so we are here at Spawn, um, it is currently uh, Monday, December 23rd, and you know what that means, <laughs> we're gonna go and do a bit of last minute Christmas shopping here on the server, and uh, get some presents underneath that tree, but before I do so, I just want to show you guys that here are all three of the wither skulls that we, um, that are required to spawn the wither, we're gonna be doing that really, really soon, uh, I believe, uh, Bionic Bard and I are gonna be doing that, so that should be pretty fun. And so yeah, let's go and uh, do a bit of Christmas shopping. I kind of have a little idea of what I want to get people. Um, I'm probably just going to be ending up getting a uh, horse armor and a saddle for Ally Taylor and Ultras Ultrasonic. But uh, Bionic Bard, I have a little bit of something ah. special planned for him. Let me just see if I have uh, it in here. Aha. Huh. Mm. Uh -huh. That's a pretty good book. I would rather just be sharpness, but I think we can do make do with that. So let's just make it right here. Put it down on a crafting table. And we are going to give him a diamond axe. Actually, I don't want to use that. Um, the reason for that is because um, I don't watch it, but apparently he watches and he likes watching uh, Jerome and uh, Sky and stuff like that. So what we're going to be calling it is... Uh, we're going to be calling it Fluffy's, right? Fluffy's Axe. Yeah. And that's because uh, Sky calls, right? Yeah. Sky calls Jerome Fluffy, and his, um, Jerome's main weapon of choice is an axe. And it's turning night. Okay. Cool. And then let's just put this on here. Uh... 13. Let's just go get some levels real quick then. Alright, there we go. And now let's just go uh, put this inside, underneath the tree. There. Um, I'll do Ultrasonics and Alley Taylors a bit later. I want to come up with something more, a bit more creative than just uh, some plain old diamond horse armor and uh, a saddle. Anything bad? Yeah, nothing's coming after me. And let's just put it over from back from now let's put it right here and we'll just put it right there and like this from classic Aww. from classic there we go I'll just do that there. All right, guys. So the next thing I want to get start working on is the music store at Spawn. 
Um, I've been AFK here for a, a couple of times now, and uh, I've got some pretty good discs. Um, I got a couple of them all, that should be enough, and a lot of this and far and this one. Um, music disc 11 is this one and cat. These ones are the two most popular ones, and then coming in in close second is music disc 13. So I think we're about ready to start work opening up our music store at Spawn. The only problem is that I'm having a trouble working out a good design um, that will work and is not too large, but it's not too small. Uh, what I want to really do with my music store is make it that when you put something in, like an iron ingot or an iron block or an emerald, um, it will give you the music disc that you want. The only problem with that is that the redstone for that would be totally huge, and I'm not exactly sure how I would be able to fit it in, but not make it too large. Right now, um, the building designs I have are really, really large, um, crazily large, so yeah. Um, I finished lighting up the caves here as well. There's just a little spot right there apparently I missed. It's not connected to anything from my knowledge, but yeah, I finished lighting up all the caves around here. Um, so now I'm getting pretty good spawn rates from, for our, uh, record farm here, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just gonna go and pop over into creative, and I'll show you guys what I mean, and what I'm trying to figure out here. Alright guys, so here's the payment mechanism I was talking about. It's only one wide, but it's pretty long. Um, but basically here it is. Um, in this case, the, the item you're receiving is a jukebox and the payment is a emerald block of course that could be changed and basically what you do is you put it in here and you get the jukebox in return or whatever you are, are selling and anything else like jungle wood will not work at all so it's a pretty cool design it prevents thieves I don't think we'll have too many problems with that but it's pretty cool the only problem is that it takes up a lot of space as you can see here this is the actual store part of the build but the rest of it is taken up by this redstone here um, which is tending to be a bit of a problem that I'm trying to avoid because I don't want to, it doesn't need to be a large store. I'm just selling um, jukeboxes and records and stuff. Um, and here are some of the other designs I was working on. This one is sunken into the ground, um, but because of that, it's a bit longer, uh, but it's a, not as wide. This one's even um, about the same length, but it's not as wide. This one would probably be the one I would go with if I went for this design. And um, then there's this one over here, which is, I think, the biggest out of them all. Um, <laughs> this one wasn't that great. So yeah, I'm trying to work on something a bit different. I don't think we'll have too many tr problems with thieves uh, at all. And if, if we do, you know, it's it's not a big deal. I have, like, unlimited records now, so I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure something out. So that's what's basically going on over here. I'll show you guys real quick. This is what I'm going to be working on for the... Uh, bedrock pvp arena here and basically what's going to be is you're going to have this floor here just full of bedrock and all this stuff and then you have all these random pressure plates on here and then some of them will do absolutely nothing let's just do this and other ones will make little noises um which will kind of give away where you are and then other ones like this one right here will push a block up and that will prevent um escapes or trying to sneak up on somebody or something like this like look at that so someone might just be running along like uh, like over here and all of a sudden you're kind of stuck um, sometimes you get stum stuck sometimes you don't so it's kind of cool and then you have all these different lights here this one turns on the light and stuff and it kind of gives away your position so that's probably what I'm gonna be working on for the uh, bedrock PvP arena fairly soon so yeah that's basically what's going on um, I'm gonna try working out some designs all right guys welcome back we're here in front of the christmas tree at spawn and i feel really really bad because it is two days after christmas and i still have presents to put under the tree uh i kind of procrastinated on this a bit and um yeah basically so oh that's not gonna work let's break that there we go, and we'll put one, um, oh, it works above leaves, excellent, that's good to know. Um, <laughs> I still have to give one to Ally and Ultrasonic, I'm gonna give them the same thing. Oh, I need my signs, put it in here, 
they are. Haha. -ha. So from classic and it's to Ally. And this one is from me again. What do you know? From class. From classic. And it's to old. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna give them a bit of lag on the server. Um, boop, and that. You know, just a little small something. I don't really. That's the hard thing about uh, giving gifts on Minecraft is that everything, oh, everything people already have basically. Um, if they don't already have it, they can get it themselves um, easily through the game. But there we go. Um, let's open up our gifts actually. Do classic from Bionic. Aw, how did how did you know Bionic? <laughs> I act I'm actually gonna be needing some of this for the project we're about to be doing here. Um, let's see. Anything else here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't open this yet. Water breathing and <laughs> cobble. I don't know why I only cobble, but <laughs> thanks. And I think that's it. Oh, wait. No, that's, that's. Yeah. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, from Allie. A diamond and wait. <laughs> Classic Steamy Joy. Oh, <laughs> thank you everyone for the wonderful Christmas gifts. Oh, oh, right, so I cleared out a little spot right here next to my nether portal business, and this is where we are going to be building the music store. Uh, when I was building it on creative, I tried to resist symmetry, mainly because when I'm building, I noticed that I tend to do things of a more symmetrical sort of style. Um, like the town hall over there, very symmetrical. Um, this building is very symmetrical, and my weapons of choice store is, as w um, is again, very symmetrical as well so when building this i kind of tried to avoid all that um by giving it more of a uh, um two different sort of sides one here that comes out and then this and it's a very very uh small build that doesn't take up very much room um, i might want to move it back a bit here and then go over here like this and back there and then we can have a right there, and we go one, two, three, and that, that, that. Yeah, that's not so good. Yeah, I'm going to do some things. 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 I'm going to do some I don't think I really need much space. I decided to give up on the entire, uh, you know, put an iron ingot in or whatever, and then um, it dispenses it for you to prevent thieves. Um, I decided to give up on that and was making it way too big and it was more trouble than it was worth. So here we go. And that's basically it. Um, all I have to do now is just build this up. Um, I'll do that off camera. Remember when I said I just have to build the clay up? Well, I lied, and I did a bit more than just building the clay up, as you can see. Um, it's basically finished. All we have to do is get the guy inside at the at the uh, counter. Um, but I think it looks really good. Maybe not the best place for it, considering that this is a smaller build, and that's a larger build. Uh, maybe if they were swapped, and this was on the higher ground, and this was on the lower ground, perhaps? Um, but other than that, I think it turned out rather well. I'm going to be working on the exterior of this, but let's just walk around this side here. Um, got windows over here, and then we got two different sizes of windows on this side. And over here, we got a large window as well. So I think it looks rather nice. Um, let's just go in and see what we got here. So this is our music store, and uh, the prices are a bit high. One iron block for a music disc and stuff. Um, the reason for that is because once you have a music disc, like let's say I purchased the music disc blocks. Once I purchase that music disc, I have that music disc. I no longer am going to need that music disc ever unless I want to have like a different bass and for some reason I don't feel like having, you know, sharing a disc between two basses. 
So basically, once I buy this disc, I most likely will never have to buy it again. At all. Uh, unlike the weapons of choice store, once I buy a weapon, um, it's going to run down. And eventually I'm going to be needing to get a new one. Not the case with this. Once you have a jukebox, you always have the jukebox. Once you have the note block, um, you always have the note block. A uh, bit of lag here. So basically, that's basically my uh, thinking behind the prices here. Um, the jukebox is one emerald, or you can just make it yourself with one diamond. No blocks is pay what you want. And then I got a Minecraft music disc book here that I wrote. Uh, 22 pages long. And it just goes over music discs and uh, the different lengths of the music disc. And uh, what it contains and everything like that. Then if you go over here, we go into jukeboxes and jukeboxes and blah 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 and all information and it goes to note blocks and uh, what different sound it makes on what different uh, block and that's the book and um, it's free donations what there should be one right I don't even know anymore <laughs> um Getting such bad lag, the server is just acting funny. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the thinking behind my thing. Um, but before... <sighs> Let me re-log real quick. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Uh, so before we can finish, call this, uh, project complete, we gotta build the litter, uh, little, uh, register guy here and I'm gonna use an iron golem I don't want to use a monster I just that's just not really my thing using a mob uh, a hostile mob for um, to work at the register and villagers uh, will attract zombies like crazy and I don't really want that for the store so iron golem it is my favorite mob in the game anyways there we go and you put your payment in there, and that's it. So I think that's it for this building. Hopefully, um, it proves to be very profitable. Let's just break this. There we go. I think it looks nice. Um, the next thing I would probably want to be doing um, for the spawn here is I was thinking about up here. Let's just see if we can get up here real quick. Um, spawn is growing. Spawn is is developing into uh into a lovely place to kind of just hang out and everything and you know shop and so i was thinking oh, how do i even get up here i was thinking that would be nice to have a little lookout tower up here to uh view all of spawn from a bird's eye view so to speak Let's just go up here, and you may have noticed as well when I was building the uh, the music store, um, my armor broke. Here we go. Yeah, so from up here, um, if my render distance was on higher, which it's not because my computer really can't hi um, handle higher render distance, um, but from up here, I think it looks uh, pretty nice. And once spawn develops even further, we'll be able to see more. I think it'll be nice. Yeah. Is there a little thing we can jump into? There is. Yeah. So. There. All right, guys. So we are here at my starter home. And as you may notice, it is completely, the windows are completely covered by um, dirt. And dirt is something I'm in need of. I have very little of it. And you may notice I have nothing left in my dirt chest at all. And I saw the sign. So I decided to come down here. And at first I thought this was ultrasonic pranking me. But then I saw the sign. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Now here's all the dirt. This was not here before. I used your dirt. LOL, I got you, didn't I? Allie Taylor. Mm. Dirt is something I'm in need of. I have very little. Oh, yeah, like the um, the server needs to be reset or something. Um, 
I had very little dirt. I only think I had a half stack of uh, regular dirt, and I had about two stacks of silk touch dirt. And now I have no more silk touch dirt, so I need to go get some more dirt, because um, I'm going to need that for lots of projects that I have in the future. It's good for pillaring up and uh, for working on landscaping and different terrain things. So I'm going to go find a nice place to go get some dirt, and I'll be right back. Alright, um, this looks like a pretty good spot to get some dirt. Oh, but wait, what do we have here? <laughs> um, this is Allie's place. I haven't been here in quite some time now. I think it's been almost, uh, near a month. Uh, looking nice around here. She covered up the ravine and everything. Um, but, you know, she took my silk touch dirt and... I needed that, um, but dirt isn't too hard to get, so we're just gonna get some right here. <laughs> you know, Allie is very nice for letting me use all her grass like this. So nice of her. When when a friend's in need, she knows how to help. <sighs> so kind of her. I left her a little uh, thank you note up there if you didn't see, uh, just thanking her for. Letting me use her dirt. Very kind of her. Oh! Don't want none of you. Very nice. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think that's about it for today, but before I go, I just wanted to show you this. Um, I decided to make the observation tower here anyways, instead of in the next episode. I couldn't really come up with anything good on creative uh, that looked modern enough for spawn so the only, I, the only thing I could really figure out was something like this and I think it looks rather good it doesn't look bad but even in, even though we're trying to go for a, a more modern look spawn I think it still looks uh, good and we got these little things here so uh, you don't have to worry about falling down the steps when looking around my render distance, as I said before, I can't really put it on higher render distance due to my computer. But even with a low render distance, I think it still looks good. You can't see all the spawn, but you can see a good portion of it, and it still looks pretty good. And you can see over here, and I'll probably be ending up cutting down this tree so you can see over there better as well. And you can just put these back up if you wish, or not. It doesn't really serve a purpose other than uh, just viewing spawn but yeah i think that is about it for today guys uh i hope you guys all enjoyed the episode if you do uh please feel free to leave a like uh blah <laughs> like like rating and i will see you guys all next time